Live 10 at 10 continues with No Wait Weather. So I've been following the weather since earlier today, and mm -hmm. it's going to warm up a little bit and then get colder again by the end of next week. Yeah, we'll warm up for tomorrow. We're pretty warm today compared to our normal, but uh, by this time next week, we could be into the mid-50s with rain and wind out there. So enjoy uh, the rest of this weekend. There's your sunny skies and our tower cam time lapse for today. And that wind did flip around from the west, more to a southerly direction, and we were pretty nice out there. It kept us about 5 degrees above normal. We should be near 70 this time of year. And here are the high temperatures across the region with Fargo at 75 degrees for today. So was Valley City, Jamestown at 77 with mid-70s at Devil's Lake and a few upper 60s from Thief River Falls to Detroit Lakes out to our Bemidji and Wadena. Current temperatures look like this. Now with the southerly wind, temperatures are still pretty nice for this time of night. 64 at Fargo. We're near 60 Grand Forks, Jamestown, Valley City, Langdon, Devil's Lake and a lot cooler air out toward Minnesota with Bemidji at 47 and uh, Detroit Lakes and Fergus Falls into the mid to upper 50s right now. So the satellite loop over the last uh, few hours or so showing that uh, we are seeing mainly clear skies out there with a few passing clouds out uh, to our west. Now approaching the Devil's Lake area, they're seeing a few clouds in Minot and a few passing sprinkles into portions of western North Dakota. That's it for the moisture for uh, the region. High pressure is working its way out, gave us the sunshine, gave us a nice southerly flow this evening and a stronger southerly flow for tomorrow. This is a dry warm front that is going to make its way through. Most of the areas will stay dry as we go through the day tomorrow. We will see an increase in the clouds out there and we're going to keep that southerly flow. So even with less sunshine, temperatures are going to be warm with highs into the upper 70s and lower 80s across the area. And we're still tracking the chance of an isolated shower, possibly a rumble of thunder into our Minnesota counties as we go through later on to the afternoon and early evening. Most of us will stay dry. Planning out your day in the Fargo area, we should start off into the low to mid 50s. A cool start, but mainly sunny skies with more clouds. We're going to say partly to mostly cloudy skies out there as we go through the day tomorrow. Temperature at noon at 72 degrees and as we make our way into the 5 p.m. hour, 80 degrees. Here's the uh, look across uh, elsewhere in the Southern Valley into the upper 70s to near 80 for tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies and warm. We're going to keep partly cloudy skies into lakes country, upper 70s to near 80. Mostly cloudy, an isolated shower or a thunderstorm is possible later on to the afternoon and evening into the low to mid 70s across Northland and into the Northern Valley, mostly cloudy skies and still warm for this time of year. Temperatures ranging from the upper 60s to the mid 70s. For Monday, 75 your high. We're going to keep partly cloudy skies and breezy conditions. Partly cloudy Tuesday, 73, 67 Wednesday with a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. Still a chance of some showers Thursday and Friday, low to mid 60s. We turn windy by the time next weekend starts. That nice wind, uh, northerly wind will really cool us down in terms of temperatures. Still keep a chance of some rain. High of only 56 degrees by next Saturday. Yeah, so bundle up toward the end of the week, but bring out your shorts and long short sleeve shirts. You know, we have a couple of days with pretty nice weather and then, yeah, then fall is here, I guess. Fall is here. Yeah. It's actually uh, the 22nd, 21st. Which one? The fall. Uh, 23rd. 23rd. So, or, yeah, it'll or be late here. on the 22nd, depending. Yep. Thank you so much, <laughs> <Yep>. Justin. <laughs> Later on Valley News Live at 10, the heartwarming story of a prom king and his football team's manager.